What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now tomorrow the 26th marks exactly one month until Deadpool and Wolverine are released. I'm assuming we might get a new TV spot or trailer, but if we don't tomorrow, don't worry, we're getting a ton of them over the next 30 days. Now in the meantime, and I will issue the lightest of spoiler warnings, we have a huge, huge bombshell report coming today, a confirmation of a huge cameo, a character we did not expect to see, especially given what's been going on behind the scenes with the reboot for this franchise. And what's more, we have some details that really contextualize his appearance in the film, and it may be a lot more than you think. We're talking this latest scoop, that Wesley Snipes Blade is actually going to show up in the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine, where it's coming from, why you can believe it, and of course what it might mean for the film and the final battle, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner for Deadpool and Wolverine's release next month. Again, all you gotta do is be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so I normally tell you guys to take everything that doesn't come directly from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt. However, at this point, and with some industry Industry insiders, we are way past the rumor mill because their track record has been so accurate over the last two or three years. And in the case of Daniel RPK or Daniel Rickman, he is the most accurate. So take that as you will in the lightest of spoiler warnings if you want to go into the unknown, not knowing about this brand new cameo appearance. According to Daniel RPK, he can confirm now, based on a rumor from months ago, that Wesley Snipes will be reprising his role as Blade in the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine. And he goes on to say, specifically, quote, and it's not just a cameo. Now I know there's gonna be some of you who are as surprised to hear that as I was the first time around when it was just a rumor and unconfirmed months ago because there is this sort of lingering report that Wesley Snipes and Ryan Reynolds don't like each other from their interaction on the third Blade movie and that's just not correct. Ryan Reynolds has said in a couple of interviews that he has a ton of respect for Wesley Snipes and the work that he does but simply that he never really met Wesley Snipes because he's a method actor which means when they were working on the third Blade film together Wesley Snipes was always in character as Blade, and let's face it, Blade is terse at best and at worst, insulting all the time. So, raw facts, there was absolutely no hang-up between Wesley Snipes and Ryan Reynolds working together. Now, this obviously opens a door also to all the adjacent Marvel Cinematic Universes, not just specifically the Fox X-Men Universe and or the Fox Fantastic Four Universe, but truly any Marvel movie that existed and before Deadpool and Wolverine, it looks like Kevin Feige and Sean Levy, the whole team on this movie is using this as an opportunity to recanonize as many of those different strands as possible, and I think ultimately this is the goal with setting up Secret Wars. We had heard for months that that was the ultimate goal of this film, and while there may be specific scenes and or concepts that push this forward, I think the real gateway here is bringing these characters back and putting them adjacent to the 616. Whether or not they all end up there, and some of them probably won't, but being introduced from across the multiverse as more current variants that can cross over with our main continuity 616, so then it all leads to eventually seeing them again in Secret Wars and not having that be the very first time they've showed up sort of non sequitur. We're going to understand it a lot better once we've seen this film and by certain accounts from industry insiders that sort of sounds like what the rumor is. Some things that we don't understand yet about what Marvel Studios is doing for Secret Wars will be unveiled and during this film. Now I do find it a little curious that Marvel Studios is willing to embrace Wesley Snipes Blade and this close to the reboot of their own Blade franchise. Seriously, if they can hit that target in 2025 fall of next year, then we're going to see Mahershala Ali's take on the character, and now all of a sudden, right after Wesley Snipes returns, seems like maybe not the most prudent of decisions considering how long it's been since we've seen Wesley Snipes maybe give Mahershala Ali and his team a clear runway, especially with all the pre-development hell that they've been going through, but I think there's a clear delineation here, an indelible line that separates the two, and that's why I think the picture for Secret Wars is starting to become a little more clear. Let me explain that exactly. I think that there are more recent characters in the MCU that might not find their place in Secret Wars because it won't make sense. And so when we thought about it being used as this sort of send-off, the closure to all of these adjacent Marvel universes, the last time we'll see variants from the Fox X-Men universe, the last time we'll see Wesley Snipes Blade, 
maybe the last time we'll see Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. return, then they can focus on those characters and not have them lined up all side by side with their own current variants too. I mean, I think it wouldn't be a problem, but maybe just a little weird if you have both Wesley Snipes' blade and Mahershala Ali's blade both in the final battle of Avengers Secret Wars. I think you pick one, and so since Marvel Studios so clearly wants to immediately recanonize these characters, or should I say, add relevance to the recanonization by doing it now, then for Secret Wars, bring them all back and make it one last hurrah for all of that. Close the book, then you go forward into the MCU with what people were referring to as a soft reboot, but what I think absolutely means they're closing the door on the multiverse shenanigans. So you won't see Professor X, Patrick Stewart back again. You won't see Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Will we see some of the current versions of MCU characters? Of course we will. The whole Fantastic Four just signed up, and by the time Avengers Secret Wars comes out, they're only going to have one film in maybe about, I don't know, two or three years under their belt. They're not going to recast the Fantastic Four going into the mutant saga, but that's where you have room to explore characters like Mahershala Ali's Blade and some of these others that they introduced in post credit scenes with plenty of time in the next saga. That's why you use Avengers Secret Wars to feature these other variants that may come back. Now, I might be completely wrong. This may be the first and only time we see Wesley Snipes' Blade. But that's why I want to bring up a previous update and coming from Daniel Rickman that there are several appearances on the horizon for Wesley Snipes Blade and that he had already filmed one of them. That one of them he had already filmed was Deadpool and Wolverine, was Deadpool and Wolverine. The other appearances that were alluded to in that report are obviously leading up to Avengers Secret Wars and note that it says multiple, not just one. I think that makes the plan very clear and we're starting to see now the difference between what kind of lineup and team they'll have at the end of Avengers Secret Wars and then what we'll get in the sagas that continue after that. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down below. Does this make you even more hype for the movie knowing that we've got characters like Wesley Snipes Blade who are going to be more than just a cameo in the film? I'm all ears as always and if he's involved, who else do you think is involved? Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel, and we're just going to continue to do that until the PlayStation 5 Pro or the 6 comes out at this point, who knows which will be first. Also, when we get a little closer to Deadpool and Wolverine's release, say about two weeks out, we'll start doing more regular ticket giveaways for the film as well. If you want to be entered to win for either of those or any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos that you comment on here at the channel, the better chance you have of winning. Please remember that only winners will be announced when there is one, with the comment shown on screen and live with my voice announcing that winner. So if you should get a comment on my YouTube channel, really any YouTube channel, any platform with someone claiming you've won a prize, please remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, make a new profile, use that photo, claim you've won a prize, and it's all just a scam to get you to pay for shipping. No content creator will ever ask you to DM them on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp. No content creator, point blank, will ever ask you to pay for shipping. So if this should happen to you, although they've left us alone for the last year or two here at my channel, they've been attacking some of my friends' channels in this little corner of YouTube. So if you should get a comment like this somewhere, please report it to YouTube. YouTube is very fast and thorough about deleting and suspending those accounts. And then not only have you deleted that comment for you and other people on that channel, but you've deleted that comment across all of YouTube, wherever they've spammed that you are doing such a community service and really helping everybody out beyond just the content creator who's getting spammed. So if you should get a comment, remember reported to YouTube, the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it. If you'd hit the like button, my name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I am fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I would sincerely appreciate you guys checking my music out, thanks to those who already have. Thanks for your support here at the channel. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.